Hello everyone, welcome back to Farm Manager 2021, where we're going to continue on with the campaign mode, and here we are, chapter 4, luxurious and exotic. So let's hope this is something interesting, shall we? I love to think what exotic could mean, are they going to give us like something really unusual? Anyway, let's see what we've got, shall we? Congratulations, you've made it! Now you can think about further development. First, complete training in labour law. Ooh, that doesn't sound like the most fun thing on the planet, does it? So, let's see if we can get that done, shall we? So, in here, down to the training tab, what have we got? Oh, all kinds of stuff that we probably should have been uh, cracking on with. Oops, I blame, I blame you. You didn't tell me to do this. This is the first you've ever mentioned about education. Right, here we go. Labour law training increases the strength of employees by 5% for 3 days, 500 monies. Okay, yeah, we, we can manage that. Here we go. So I guess now we just let the farm plod on nicely for 3 days and uh, see what we can do. Let's just check everything's uh, under control, shall we? Make sure we haven't caused any carnage while we've been away by accident. So over here we've still got a shortage of bits and pieces. You're waiting for a chest trailer. I'm sure I've got a chest trailer, have I not? That's a self-loading one. That's my bales one. Where's my... That's a manure spreader. Uh, chest trailer, chest trailer. Ah, is this it? Yes. So it's being used for the cabbages. Good to know, good to know. I mean, if I had more space, I'd probably just stick another one in, but we're a little tight on space over here. See if they can hold off for the moment. What are you complaining about? A sprayer. Okay, that might actually be something that's worth getting another one of, because there's a fair amount of things that are going to need spraying, aren't there? And what's going on down here? You are... Ooh, out of wheat. Interesting. Oh, and the labour law stuff's already done, but quick, let's uh, sort out this wheat problem, shall we? I don't want all my animals starving to death, and I don't think wheat's too expensive. We'll soon find out. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get some wheat in. Right, keep the animals happy. This one was just telling me we've harvested some strawberries. Let's just hope we've got everything set up nicely there from the last time. Now, what's the next goal? The boss is preparing the company for opening to more exclusive markets. Your farm will also be involved. Quail meat and eggs are very tasty, healthy and expensive. Create a quail farm. Start by placing three small chicken coops, buy at least 30 quail and produce 250 quail eggs. Okay, quail are certainly exotic, aren't they? Let's have a little look in the old manufacturing menu down here and get ourselves those chicken coops, eh? Small chicken coops it's after, so here we go, where should we plonk these? Um, I mean this area down here does tend to be my more animally area. It would be a bit weird to put them up in the middle of all these uh, lovely plots of land and fields, wouldn't it? So what space have we got? How about along this road here? Do you think I could fit two back to back? That'd be quite nice if I could, wouldn't it? So sort of one there and, oh yes, one there and then one there. And it wants three, but four's going to look much tidier and it's not like I could really use that gap for anything anyway. So four it is. Welcome quails to the party. Lovely. Now, let all the little folks crack on, do their bits with their bricks and their cement and whatever other building bits and pieces they want to use. Crack on, stand on the roof, build some scaffolding, saw things, hammer things. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, another layer's going on. These must be very tall chicken coops, eh? Here we go, here we go. Anytime now. Anytime now. There we go. Coops are created. Now, how much space do we have knocking around? There's three spaces for workers in there, one in there, none in there, and none in there. So we do actually have enough space for four workers without building a new house. Uh, there's two spaces over there as well. So yes, we can staff these things. That's quite exciting. Let's see if we've got any staff available, shall we? I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a walk for you guys to get over here, but and for you guys, but I'm, I'm sure you'll survive. Right. Animally people. Jessica, in you come. Lovely. Right. Jessica, assign you in here quickly before you decide to go and do something stupid like work in a greenhouse, you know. 
Not that my uh, people would ever have done that one before. Um, any other animal-y folk? Animal, animal. George is good at orchards and animals, and Lucy's good at manufacturing and animals, but no specific animal types. I think we'll give it a moment. Let it tick over, it only has to go to the 11th. And in the meantime, I can buy my first set of quails. Lovely. 10 marvellous quails. Now, what do you eat? Solid questions. You eat wheat, buckwheat, linseed, apples and pumpkins? Okay, what of those do I actually have? Questions, eh? Questions. Now, I have got... I've definitely got... Oh, that's oats. That's wheat. I've got wheat. I was going to say, I'm sure I just bought some wheat. So yes, we've got wheat. We appear to have none of the other things that our uh, lovely things want. So we should probably buy some. So I know they were after linseed. Linseed. One of those. That seems to be very expensive. Very, very expensive. Okay, what were the other options? We'll come back to that if we need to. But if the others are cheaper, we will do the others. Well, this isn't that much cheaper. I mean, it is a fair amount cheaper, but it's still very expensive. Apples, pumpkins. They wanted pumpkins, didn't they? So, pump? Spelling. Spelling is clearly a strong suit around here. Also expensive. It's no wonder we can sell these, um quail for so much money when they uh, eat us out of house and home. Um, and the other thing would have been the buckwheat. So let's see how much that's going to cost us. Buckwheat, also expensive but still less than the others. And then if you're eating wheat too, you know, it's probably not the worst idea in the world to just get another shipment of that in just to make sure we stay on top of that. And there we go. 17 grand on animal food. Core blimey. Now, let's get you assigned to eat all of those, lovely, and when you arrive, we can crack on. Now, we just need to wait for it to tick over into the 11th, which won't take us too long, I imagine. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And let's see if we can track down any more workers. Animal folk. Oh no, they have not rolled over. Oh my gosh, whatever next. Okay. Absolute madness here. Madness. There I was, expecting them to roll over. Okay, we'll check on the 12th. Again, it's not going to take too long. Right, there we go. The 12th. Animal folk. There we go. Ellen, in you come. Endurance and animals, good combo. But I note there are no other animal folks. It's almost like the game is against me right now. Whatever next day. Still. You can come in, Ellen, and I note you look very similar to dear Esme there. Interesting, that. Ellen, and because uh, I'm feeling generous today, and I've actually got some good amounts of money, I'm going to give you some animal trailing. Yay! Become all skilled in that. Lovely. And I just got an achievement saying good employer, so apparently that was the first time I've, you know, trained anyone or something like that. Good to know. Now, let's get plenty of the old quail in. Good to know, if you press shift and then put buy, it'll just fill the thing up to the max. So say if you're clicking on the old uh, buy button 400 times or however many quail it is that you fancy buying. Disclaimer, works for all animals, not just quail. What's going on with these sheep, eh? What's going on? Not enough soya? Oh blimey, we're running out of all of the animal feed today. Quick, not to that screen, to this screen. Let's get some soya. At least it's cheaper than the pumpkins, eh? Not zero. One zero zero zero. There we go. That's a much more sensible amount. In comes the soya. Okay. Oh, blimey, eh? Blimey. Right, we've ticked into the 13th. Let's see if there are any more worky folks available. This is the house. Anyone here? Oh, yes, look at that. Hannah and Ellen. We will take you both. Lovely job, guys. Now, Hannah... Thinking about this, it would have been better to uh, give the further away chaps the closer uh, pens, but I didn't. So these guys are just going to have a little bit of a walking commute, but it's okay. Good opportunity to get their step count up, and you know, that's what the uh, world likes these days, doesn't it? Plenty of steps, plenty of steps. Now, max these out, all of them please give them the correct assignments for their snacks. Yum yum yum! Keep those quail well fed. 
And then we should just sit back, relax, and wait for some eggs to show up. How long does it take for a quail to produce an egg? Solid question, really, isn't it? I'm not sure. So, let's see. Well, we've got 20 of the 30 quail in so far, so they are being shipped in. Oh, notifications. Not enough resources sheep, not enough resources strawberry. Okay, well, they're both um, interesting. Oh, look at that. All of our quail have arrived, plenty of harvesting. Things are occurring. Right, so this is probably the thing that's complaining about the lack of strawberries. Well, there's a hundred there, so I'm sure you'll get over it. That'll be fine. And sheep, yeah, we're just always a bit slow on the sheep. Um, I thought we'd gone back to eating goat, to be honest, but since I suspect the next task is going to be eat some quail, um, I'm not too fussed because, uh, yes, it's going to knock around at some point. And in all that time, we've managed to produce a gazillion eggs. So apparently the answer to the question is quails produce eggs very quickly. Now, ostriches should be your next step. Ooh, that is exotic. Build two ostrich enclosure and purchase at least 15 ostrich. Oh my, that's very exotic indeed. Okay, well, let's get those sorted in, shall we? Small ostrich farm, okay. How big is a small ostrich farm? Ooh, just too big to fit in that nice gap. That's a shame. Okay, well, we could stick them over here, or we could stick them over here. That's not the best slot for them, as you can only fit the one in. How about we stick them... I mean, I could stick them like that, and then run a nice road along here. Ooh, all the buttons, what am I doing? Road along here, that's what I was after. And then I've got space for some more employee houses, which I'm sure we're going to need, so that is another good thing. Look at that. It's almost like we planned this or something. We did not. Uh, was that not evident? Okay, so... Um, I'm keen to go set up a quail selling thing so it auto sells my quail eggs, but I'm also acutely aware that it's probably going to ask me to do something with them, isn't it? Do I risk it? Do I risk it? Oh, go on then. If I click the right button, I would be a lot more successful, wouldn't I? And it's asking me to buy strawberries in, which I'm not going to do, but add trade item. Oh, oh, all the things at once. Summer is here. Lovely, thank you. Now, back to my quails which begin with Q, not W, interestingly to note. Let's sell them if we reach... If we go for 500, then at least we've got some spare knocking around if the game decides to be like, oh yeah, by the way, those quail's eggs. Uh, like it did in the last, um, what do you call it, episode, where we were faffing around for some time because uh, we sold things and we shouldn't have sold things. Now, buying ostriches. Ostrich, ostrich, ostrich. Try saying that five times fast. Bit of a mouthful. Uh, first things first. Employees. So, any animal folk in here? Perfect. Tommy, you are coming in. Let's just quickly check, though. Pause, pause. Oh, they do only need one uh, worker. That's good. I wasn't sure if they might need more, but I suppose since they are still small enclosures, they will only need one, even though they look pretty big. Now, who else have we got? Oh, stuff it. Layla, you might be good at both. Oh, blimey, you're expensive, though. Right, well, we're not having that, we're not having that. It's not much cheaper for Edward, though, because he's so good at manufacturing. No, we're not having that, we're just going to wait until tomorrow. See if anyone new rocks up. In the meantime, we will buy, oh, blimey, a very expensive ostrich. Now, I know we could just uh, sit here and wait and let them mate, and that would be an option, but I'm not very keen on the whole waiting part, so... In you come, ostriches. Now, what do you eat? Next question. Corn, sorghum, soya, linseed, and sunflower. That's an interesting combination. Better make sure we can feed you, eh? So, what have we got? What have we got? <sighs> any of those? Um, I'm not convinced we do have any of those, you know? Oh, oh we've got soya. We've got soya. That's one thing. So they can definitely eat soya. Lovely. Now, what were the other options? Corn. There's the corn. We'll have some of that. Yum, yum, yum. A thousand, please. Add those zeros. Where have all my zeros gone? Zero. There we go. Cool, blimey. Now it's adding too many. Now, corn. Uh, what else was it? Sorghum. It's an interesting word. Sorghum. 
There we go, we'll have a plenty of that. That's not too expensive for once, which is good. Uh, linseed was on there, soil was on there. We already know linseed's stupidly expensive. What was the other thing? Thinking, thinking. Not remembering. Okay, let's buy the two of those and then have another double check, shall we? Corn, sorghum, soya. Oh, it was sunflowers, right. So here's the question. Is it cheaper to have sunflowers or cheaper to have the very expensive linseed? Sunflowers. Definitely cheaper to have the sunflowers. Still expensive, but better than it could have been. Another zero, please. If you'd be so kind. Ah, not two. Cool, what is going on with my keyboard today? It's having a right for Nakapan. Now, assign that and they've got all of their food. Now, unpause and we will do the same in here momentarily. Just need to wait for the day to tick over and see if we can get a new member of staff. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. Day has ticked over and if we click, click on the house, damn it. I don't want to click on the mill. There we go. The house. Hiya. Who have we got? Animal folk. Oh, look at this. So much cheaper. We will have you and you can come and work with these lovely ostriches here. There we go, and we will buy ten of those and assign them some snacks. Everyone likes a good snack. And we're supposed to have at least 15, and I think we've bought 20, so that covers things off nicely there, doesn't it? Wait for those to arrive. I'm sure they're probably loading themselves into some sort of vehicle to come down here now. Imagine driving around with like ten ostriches in the back of your truck. It's like a horse box, but worse, isn't it? I bet it caused absolute carnage on the motorway. There we go, look at them arriving. Gorgeous. Now, what have we got next? In order to maintain competitive prices, it will be necessary to grow wheat, oats, rye and buckwheat. Create four fields with a minimum size of 50 by 50 and plant crops on them. Okay, so it wants fields of the mammoth persuasion. Why are you guys hungry? Is your uh, worker not feeding you? Oh, please get some food. Don't let my new ostriches starve, that would be a bit disappointing, wouldn't it? Cool, now, yes, uh, plenty, plenty, plenty new fields that we are going to need to make. So, why are we going to place those? I mean, over here is where we've got all the equipment, but we're still struggling a little bit for shortage of equipment over here. That's complaining about a sprayer, and that's complaining about a sprayer. I mean, the answer is probably buy a new sprayer. Let's do that quickly, shall we? How much is one of those? Oh, it's 20 grand. Okay, not as cheap as I thought it would be, but we'll buy one. We've got absolutely no garage space. So we will in fact build a garage. I'm not gonna build one of those though. I'm going to build one of the open air ones because you get more stuff in them. And to be honest, it's not really that bad because I've got a mechanic knocking around somewhere anyway, I think, maybe. And I'm sure he'll take care of stuff for me. So yeah, that's the answer now. Um, not going to fit anything useful in those gaps, sadly. I could stick it at the back here somewhere. I mean, it covers all these farms, so yes, let's do that. How about just here, in case I decide to continue that road forwards. And there you go, look, it's right opposite the mechanic. Perfect. Now, in here, bye, and we will have that sprayer that we were just looking at. It's teeny tiny, so it should fit nicely nicely just about there that'll do doesn't seem to be the happiest but we've got a new sprayer so that should cheer up some of the farms we've already got working in this area now where are we going to put these huge farms um can we buy extra land buy more land no we cannot okay is that because we need to upgrade the building possibly do we risk it? Do we risk it? I mean, it's 10,000. Let's do it. Ta-da! Upgrade! Oh, look at that! My tractor's now in a little shed. Isn't that nice? And we've got like a proper fancy driveway. One of those ones you can come in and do like a proper U-turn in. Ooh, lovely. Can't complain to that, can we? I don't know why we've got a ladder on the roof still, though. Strange, strange. Now, can we buy more land? No, we cannot. Okay. This must be one of those things where the tutorial says no, so you don't do it. This is going to be interesting. Let's see what we can fit in. Now, it's requiring at least two... 
2.2 hectares, which is 50 by 50. So how big's 50 by 50? Bigger than that. 50 by 50 would be... Oh gosh, don't even know what I've done now. Would we fit one in here? Could we fit one in here? No, don't click on the ostriches. Show me the size of the farm. Oh, damn it. No. One space too short to get one in there. Okay. Um, so they're going to have to go beyond the level of the ostriches. So here. Oh, so you can have... Hmm. Interesting. So according to the campaign mode on the left, it says minimum size 0.2 hectares. But according to the bit at the top, it says 50 by 50. And then according to down here, you could have 48 or if you go one further, it becomes 52. And both are far over 0.2 hectares. So who really knows what's going on there? Still, I think it's going to be fussy. So let's go bigger means better, right? How far do all these bits of farm equipment reach? Let's see. That's the furthest away one. And it reaches, oh, it reaches all the way down to the edge. That's absolutely fine then. Um, well, I mean, it's not, but it's, uh, it's going to occur. Right. Um, let's get rid of that little bit of road there. Let's extend this bit of road up to there, and let's try and whack in another field here of the correct size. There we go. And then the only space we've got left is right here. So, uh, oh, just going to fit with one space spare. So we're not going to have a road down the middle or anything like that. No, no, no. We have no road space here. We're going to do that. And then we're going to uh, run the road. Oh. Not like that, like that along the edge there. And then we'll run it down the side and connect it up over here. Perfect. Well, we now have almost entirely no space left on the farm. So let's hope they don't ask for anything too fussy anytime soon, right? Hey ho, so this one is going to be wheat, spelt with a Q, obviously. It's exotic wheat, because uh, that's what this episode's about, right? Exotic produce. Now, here we'll have the buckwheat. In here we can have the oat. Down we go, down we go. And then the last thing it wants is the rye. So down to rye, somewhere around here. There we go. Now, I suspect we don't have enough people, and we probably also don't have enough tractors. So let's have a look. This one's working. This one's complaining about plows, this one's complaining about plows, and this one's complaining about plows. So sounds to me like if I got another plow, I might be able to uh, get more of these bits and pieces underway, right? So let's have a little look in here and see if we can't find ourselves another plow. Plow, 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 where do you live in this? Where, where, where? Clearly I have scrolled past you. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. There's the road on plow. Ah, oh, there it is, right at the top, right in front of my eyes. Well, it only costs 500, so we might as well get one, eh? Stick it in up there. I mean, it's a bit of a trek for the uh, tractor to come from wherever it lives, which is probably there or there, up there, down to here. But you know what? We're going to have it. We never claimed this was going to be the most functional and logical farm. We just claimed it was going to be a farm, so... There we go. Right, they're now starting to plough on here. Henry, with his glorious glasses, is coming in with another tractor. Hopefully this one will finish off fairly rapidly and we can uh, move the plough to one of the others while we begin cultivating over here. What are you now complaining about? Oh, lack of tractor. Okay, well, it's probably being used for something important, you know? These things occur, these things occur. Um, where is it? Where is it? Well. Oh no, no, it's back. Here you go. One's being cultivated. Sienna has brought the Esther cultivator down. Okay, this isn't too bad. We seem to be making progress. We do indeed, we do indeed. There's another tractor coming in here to plough on this field. Seren bringing a nice little plough. This one is now going to be ready for cultivation. This one's probably going to be the, uh, you know, left out lonely field. But you know what? While I'm here, let's irrigate it because if we irrigate them, then at least that's one less thing for us to have to battle for tractors in order to achieve, right? And also one less task for the 
folk working these fields who are probably now feeling a tad overworked as previously they had a hell of a lot less land to cover. I mean, these fields are mahoosive compared to these ones and they were struggling with those ones, let's be honest. Uh, five workers in there and eight in there. Tell you what, they're all busy, to be honest. Oh, Jack's having a rest, but now Sarah is, but they're mostly all busy. They're mostly all busy too. Should we give them a couple of buddies? Can't hurt if there's anyone good around, can it? Right, planty folk, planty folk. James, I mean, you're quite expensive and you don't have just plants. You have another specialty, which isn't a useful one. If it had been endurance or it had been uh, the one for driving the old tractors, really, really useful, but those not so much. Let's let it tick round a day or two, see what the next batch of employees is like. Core, if only hiring employees was this easy in real life, right? Nobody. Nobody at all. Okay, well, we won't be hiring anyone today, then. But yeah, if you were fortunate enough to have this many people applying to work in your business in real life, you would be over the moon, wouldn't you? You'd just, uh, never need to worry about how bad an employee was. You'd just be able to be super fussy. I enjoy how these little rolls of hay are just slowly rolling backwards and forwards. That's such a beautiful detail that they just... Oh, lovely. Really enjoy it. Really enjoy it. Okay. Um, right, yes. Uh, we're having a bit of a shortage, aren't we, with some of these bits of farm equipment. You're after the chest trailer and a tractor and staff. So I was kind of onto the right theory when I was looking for extra staff. Anyone new wanting to be employed yet in the plant persuasion? Not really. Poor show, folk. Poor show. You call this a farm manager? No, no, no. This is let's hire people that are good at manufacturing. Madness. Oh, we've achieved something. We've achieved something. Look, guys, wheat is on the field. Do we not already have a wheat field? Oh, that one's grass. That one's cabbage. I can't even remember anymore. That's oats. Fodder beets. Right, we've definitely just planted oats again, so we could probably trash that oat field, to be honest, if we need to. Up here we've got fodder beets, then that is the poppies, and then these are the gooseberries and the blackberries. Black currants even. Cool, I always confuse those two. Um, but yes, we could probably trash the second oat field. I can't imagine we need that much oats, do we? Or that many oats? It's a lot of oats. We're not going to have hungry animals for a while, are we? Ooh, how about you, Jackson? Endurance and animals. You can come in. Wait, why did I do that? I'm talking about animals, and yet I'm thinking about plants. Sorry, Jackson, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, you're fired. Okay, back to thinking, thinking, thinking. Plants. Oh, there's nobody. Okay, well, sorry about that, Jackson. Where are all the planty types? Clearly not applying to work here. Is there something wrong with my farm? <laughs> Am I just not a good employee? Okay, you are ready to be seeded as soon as you get hold of a tractor. Where are you up to? You're on the fertilisation stage. And so are you. Okay, well we're making reasonable progress. I'm kind of considering just deleting this field now before they plant it. Um, but then I don't necessarily want to delete the field so much as just make it not wheat or not oat even. All these things. Brains. Not working. My brain is just not working today. Confusing the oat, confusing the wheat, whatever next. Right, let's try once more to see if we have any planty folk. Oh, look at that. Frederick Kelly, you were built to work here. In you come. And Zachary Marsh, you as well. And oh, Robin Reynolds, plants and endurance. Will you fit in this here house? Looks like you will. And now the house is full and you've got three extra employees, so hopefully that'll take the edge off some of the complaints. Now, let's see if we can actually get to the bottom of some of these complaints. What do you guys want? A chest trailer and a tractor. Now, I've heard a lot about chest trailers, so let's get ourselves a new chest trailer. Ooh. Chest trailer. There's one. I will treat us. Eight grand isn't the worst, and we have space up here now, so in you go. Now, you are happy. You've got pretty much my entire workforce working on you. You are not happy. You're waiting for a tractor. You are not happy waiting for a tractor and a cultivator. Okay. Well, how about the fields that we're actually supposed to be focusing on? What are we waiting for over here? 
you are being worked on. You require fertilizer and you are being worked on. Okay. Should we keep oh, do we need another fertilizer spreader? I don't know. It might just be that I'm buying loads of stuff now and it's not really going to help without more tractors. That is distinctly, distinctly possible. And yet here we are and I'm having a look. Fertilizer spreader. It's only four grand. Let's do it. If it helps, it helps. Done. Oh no! Quick! Off screen, but my cat is complaining. Be right back. Right, we're back. Bless her. She's such a sweetie, my cat, but uh, I've been shutting the door while recording, obviously to help with the noise in the background. But uh, she likes to sleep on my bed and when she wants to go outside, she then pesters at the door until I open it for her. So that's what I've just done and she's wandered off, probably to find herself some snacks. Now I'm sure you all really wanted that update on my uh, cat and um, you have it. Until then, we've got the oat planted, so just the two fields left to go. Now let's try and prioritise getting these sorted. This is the oat and it is growing and uh, it appears to actually be being sprayed at present. What do we need over here? Rig a tractor and staff. What do we need over here? Staff. Okay. Well I probably suspect one of these, which requires 940,000 people, is in progress. Yeah, there you go. That's where all the stuff are. Harvesting gooseberries. Hopefully that won't take too long to occur. And in the meantime, we can consider... Do I get another tractor? I mean, I probably could. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. Tractor, tractor, tractor. The Rager tractor is 45k. The Etos tractor is quite nice, isn't it? 60k. Ah, uh, let's just get another Rager one. Go on. We know them. We love them. They're nice and red. Done it now. Hopefully that will help to speed things along. And what do you know? This one's not complaining anymore, so maybe it does. Maybe it does. This one still wanting everything. Seed drills, staff, fuss pots down here in the rye field, aren't we? Hopefully that will all get uh, sorted sooner rather than later. Um, let's just give them a few moments and check back in once the fields are sorted. Alright, so here we are back once again and we are just planting the last of the rye. The uh, buckwheat up here has been completed, so we are making good progress. Leo here with his Rager tractor and seed drill, chuntering up and down, back and forth. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And here we go, here we go. Magnificent. Okay, so next task. Collect a minimum of 5,000 wheat, 2,000 oats, 1,000 rye, and 1,000 buckwheat. This may take a while. Well, maybe it's just as well we've got that extra oat field then. <laughs> Can help us along. Now, if this is the case, then I think what I need to do is go in and set up a auto cell for those ostrich eggs, as clearly we are not requiring them. So, click the wrong button, my standard go to apparently trade let's get ostrich eggs underway massive ostrich eggs aren't they um yeah if we've got more than 200 just sell them to be honest we probably don't even need 200 but i'll keep a small allowance just in case you know and then what's it telling us to buy strawberries no soya yes probably do need that actually because the animals like to munch on that so let's get a nice haul of soya in and let's see how long it's going to take us to gather all of these products. I don't know, for example, how much wheat you'd get off one field. Like, in 62 days time, we're going to get a field worth. Is a field worth a thousand? Is a field worth five thousand? I mean, I'd like to hope it's five thousand, otherwise this is going to take many years of in-game time, as winter will hit and we won't make much progress, but who knows really? Who knows? Not I, not I indeed. Now, uh, we've got plenty of complaints going on. This one's under control currently. Um, 71 days until we get the buckwheat. This one is complaining, not enough staff. Gotcha. This one is complaining, not enough staff. Well, I think we know what the answer is then, don't we? That house is full. That house is full. Okay. Might need another staff house. Another one? I mean, or actually, we could... Um, we could, if we zoom in here, scrolly scroll, we could put some people in some of these houses, because these aren't very full, and um, they're actually quite close to the fields. I mean, yes, it's going to be a bit of a trek for them to pick up a tractor, but um, 
Stuff it! The house is already here. Let's do it! Okay, planty folk. Anyone here that's good at plants? Bella. Well, you're not great, but in you come. Ooh, it scrolled over. Sienna, why don't you join us? You are good at plants. And actually cheaper than Bella was, so maybe I made the wrong choice there. Interesting, eh? Alex, good with machines. Um, yeah, sure, why don't you come in as well? Oh, and there's Luca, good at plants. And Ellis, good at plants. Everyone's turning up today with uh, lots of abilities. Clearly this is where they've all been hiding. So hopefully, having just brought in a gazillion new people, that will um, help us out. Now, what is this, this alert that I am receiving? No warehouse? Oh gosh, have I filled all warehouses? Quick, pause, check, everything's flashing. Warehouse. Yes, the warehouse is rammed apparently. It appears to be rammed entirely with cow's milk. 43,000 units of cow's milk. Hmm, some may think that something has gone wrong in the auto trade facility. Wouldn't you? Okay, scrolly scroll. Where is the milk? Where is the milk? I'm sure I've set one up, have I not? Please tell me I've set one up. Oh, I have, but I've turned it off. Hmm. Is this, is this related to this? Okay, so I apparently turned it off in order to focus on producing cow cheese, but apparently I'm making a lot more milk than I am cow cheese. So, yeah, um, don't need 43,000 units of the stuff, do we? Let's scroll down here and put up an auto trade where if we've got more than, I don't know, 3,000, as that seems to be roughly what they store in the factory, just get rid of it. Go. Good plan. And then now, just to resolve our uh, issues, let's go and sell a nice 40,000. That's the right one, isn't it? For 176,000, goodbye cow's milk. Now if I unpause, yeah, look at that. Solving problems left, right and centre, me. Okay, what other issues are we having? You don't have enough sheep, gotcha. You don't have enough strawberries. That's all right, we'll survive. Oh, looks like we've got a bit of an error down there. What's going on in this one? Um, I don't think we're very good at getting enough food into these types. Not enough resources, crops. Okay, um, better buy us in some crops then, aren't we? In an ideal world, what I should do is set up auto buys on all of these. That'd make this a lot more simple, wouldn't it? A lot less micromanagement-y. It's also always this one that uh, has the issue, so... Let's give you a spot of training and hope that that uh, speeds things along. We can hope, can't we? Now, now we've got all of those bits and pieces sorted out. Why have I got 10,000 units of poppy? Oh, it's because the mill is again going slower. So maybe, maybe, maybe. There's probably quite a lot of work that could be done on this. Maybe. Where's the poppy? Have I put the poppy in her? Who knows, eh? Who knows? Let's find out. That's what our search function's for. No, I haven't even put the poppy in here. Blimey. Blimey. Okay. Poppy. Okay, well, I mean, that did work too. So, poppy. If we manage to get over 3,000... If we manage to get over 3,000... There we go. Sell those. Good plan. Hopefully that will uh, help with the warehouse situation. And Oh, look at that. Autumn has arrived. Okay. Last moments to work in the fields. Well, I damn hope we're going to get all of these blooming things sorted then, don't you? Let's have a look. 91 days. That's 78. That's 58. That's 52 and 41. Yes, we'll get at least one harvest in off each of them. Thank goodness for that, because if we hadn't, it would have been a lot of... Uh, wasted work all this time we've spent ploughing and, you know, bits and pieces in the fields. Now, what else is going crazy in this place? 17,000 cabbages. Well, this is allegedly still producing the old sauerkraut, but also something we should probably be sorting out now. Cabbage. Spelt with an X. Very exotic. Cabbage. Oh, we don't have a trade on that. Do we have a trade on the sauerkraut? Yes, we do. Add. Cabbage. Cabbage. Oh my gosh. Spelling, spelling, spelling. I wholeheartedly apologise for the absolute 
horrendousness of my ability spell today. I don't know what it is. Right. That's not quite what I want. I want sell above 3,000. Sell above 3,000. There we go. So hopefully that will help there as well. We'll try and keep some of this madness under control. I think what we need to do now is sit back, relax, put our feet up, and wait approximately 50 days until the harvesting of the fields commences. Back in about 50 days! So, as our dear friends Esme, Sienna and Jack ready their tractors and combines and come in to harvest the field of wheat, and to answer the question for us of how much wheat does a field 52 by 52 produce in terms of wheat, let me give you a quick rundown of what's occurred while you've been away. So, we have converted the fruit factory back over into making black currant jam. Got it right this time for once. Huzzah! Um, and that's been rather marvellous. And um, I bought some sorghum, I bought some soy, and I bought some sunflowers to feed my apparently very hungry ostriches. And what do you know? I mean, they were only about halfway through the field, but they've already produced more than 5,000 kilos of wheat. So the answer is a lot. A very large amount. There we go. Queries and mysteries solved one after the other rapidly in this here place. Which one of these lovely fields is going to be next? Seven days on the buckwheat, so I guess the answer is uh, we shall move on to the buckwheat and see if we can produce a thousand kilos of buckwheat from this here field. I'm beginning to think, you know, that the game might have been a little bit smart and uh, designated these numbers to reflect how much you can get out of one of these fields. <gasps> Wouldn't that have been clever? I mean, it's almost like they, they designed and planned this campaign to, to, you know, function. Almost that indeed. Right, so how long until we're going to get started over here? Four days. Okay, let's do a quick run around the farm and make sure nothing's burning and then return. Okay, up here. Harvestings are occurring. You're probably just complaining because it's a lot of people to use the old chest trailers and they're all working over there. Makes sense. These are all happy. These are all happy. Greenhouses are happy. I don't see any notifications for starving animals, which is always what I like. Always, always, always. In fact, I think even all the factories are happy, except for, of course, this one, because that's never very happy. But all the others are happy. We don't seem to have a huge excess of milk knocking around, so good, good, good. Now, here we go. Buckwheat harvesting. One of the old chest trailers coming down. Leo, Lexi and Alby preparing. Let's see what they do, shall we? How much buckwheat are you going to create for us? I know to the side, they're loading up all those bales there, which is rather adorable. Oh, look at that. Look at that combine go. Powering through the field. Come on, 540, 650? Yeah, we're going to produce way more buckwheat than required. Boom. Goal success. Thank you very much. Oh, it's loads of buckwheat, isn't it? Now, I'm sure one of my animals eats that, so at least I won't need to go buy that for a while. That is wonderful. Munch away, my pretties, munch away. As I do have to say, I'm pretty sure I've got no auto trade set up on all this stuff, so... Uh, well, in fact, I can't, can I? Because uh, I haven't produced it to now. The only one that will have is the old oat harvesting in a day, because we already had a feel of oat. But uh, for wheat and for uh, buckwheat and um, the rye, probably haven't got anything of the sort, so... Oh, look at this! They're already re-ploughing the wheat! Prepared folks they are. Now, what's going on here? Oat bearing fruit. Oh no! Oh, they need a chest trailer. Oh, I bought an extra one of those and everything. They are popular, they are popular. So there's one just been returned. Hopefully that means someone can come down here. Look at that. There they are, Seren, Jack and Robin. Coming down, preparing to get everything ready. Oh, and they're making uh, bales of hay over here as well. Who knew Buckwheat did that? Not I. Not I. So, in they come, with their wonderful combine harvesters. Chugging away, producing loads and loads and loads of oat. Two strips of the field, and it's complete. What do you know? What do you know? Again, whichever animal likes to munch this stuff, not going hungry for a while. They will be rather well satiated. Hmm. Lovely. Probably time for breakfast when I finish this. Breakfast? Lunch? So here's a thought. If you have a breakfast, food, for the first meal of the day, but you don't have it till 2pm, 
Is it breakfast or is it lunch? Mystery! It's like when you work a night shift and you wake up and you're like, hmm, breakfast, but actually it's like seven in the evening because that's when you've woken up. Does that make it your breakfast or does that make it your dinner? Because it's at dinner time, but it's your first meal of the day. I vote it makes it your breakfast, but I'd be interested to hear if anyone's got any opposing thoughts on the situation. I always like to know what other people think, so yes, feel free to leave me a lovely comment and let me know. Until then, let's focus on the baling of the hay. That's what I should be doing. Yes. Okay, so this one's also producing hay. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of hay after this. Does this one produce hay? I don't think so. Well, maybe it does. Mystery! I hope I've got some sort of auto-cell process on the hay, or else I'm going to be inundated. Absolutely inundated. Yeah, I probably should go take a look, really, shouldn't I? Um, cell. Oh no, I must have one, because we've got a nice round 5,000 there, and the only way I would get such a glorious round number is if I'd set it up. So yeah, that must be a thing. I do note 17,000 wheat there, though. That seems a little high, but hey, I'm sure some lovely set of creatures in here is eating it. Yeah, there you go. Wheat for them. Oh, the ostriches don't like wheat. What about up here? Nope, the sheep are not keen. Or they're goats, even. My apologies. But the sheep like it. And then the cows. No, the cows aren't keen either. Well, at least the uh, sheep and the quails shall be happy. Can't complain to that, can you? Now, how long on the rye? A nice five days, so we should get that sorted with plenty of time spare for winter. And they've already ploughed up here and cultivated from the looks of it up here. And they fertilised that one. They're all over this. Oh, gosh. Although I know we've got a broken machine. Whatever is this? Oh, look, my little mechanic's come out and he's fixing it. The tyre had come off. Oh, that's adorable. Plus one to the mechanic. Good job, mate. I mean, you probably could do with looking at some of these machines a little bit rapider so they get fixed a little bit better before they break down in fields, but that was magnificent service. You'd never get something uh, that quickly in real life, would you? No. Oh, here we go. Rye, rye, rye. It's coming, it's coming. What machines are they after? A chest trailer, a combine, and a reaper for cereals. Okay, so that's basically just telling me one of these other fields, looks like this one, has all the bits of kit. I don't really want to go buy a new combine because uh, they're really expensive. I don't mind having the second chest trailer, but my god are the combines expensive. So hopefully now someone will come and pick this one up and bring it down here, if you would be so kind. Oh, it's waiting for a tractor. Oh, blimey. Fussy ones you are. There's one tractor there, one tractor there, and one tractor there. So um, yes, might be waiting a few moments. Although, there you go, one's back. Now will someone come? Come on, come on. There is another tractor, there's a tractor right there. I can see it now. Quick guys, not enough staff. Oh darn it, well, I've got eight days till winter, so you better get cracking, because I am not waiting another season for this. There we go. Thank you, Esme, thank you, Megan. You are taking one for the team and actually harvesting the field that is required. I'm not that fussed if you plough the poppy field, Frederick. You can do that next season. It's getting this sorted that's the priority. Now, come on. Thousand kilos. Quick as you like. How many runs up and down the field is that going to be? Let's see. Oh, one apparently. Very speedy. Oh, marvellous. Now, soon you should start making organic oils and organic food. You should prepare for this and start growing organic hemp and organic flax. Oh my. Well don't really have much space going on, so this is going to be interesting. And it's again asking for this 0.2 hectares, so does that mean 52 by 52? Or does that mean 0.2 hectares? The controversy, eh? The controversy. Well, what I could do is be really cheeky and just reuse some of these fields because, I mean, do I need all this stuff? Mm, debatable. What, what I could do. That's the oat one, isn't it? And we've already got oat over there. So yeah, oat, yeah, you're not gonna be oat anymore. You are going to be organic hemp. And then at least we know the field size is correct. So, ha ha ha, there we go. Organic hemp, check. 
and wheat. It's wheat that I've got a stupid amount of, isn't it? So you're no longer wheat. Sorry, yes, I do want to destroy you and you are going to become organic flax. Lovely. Nice little blue flower there. Perfect. And I mean, look, they're already ploughed. Marvellous. So as soon as next season rolls around, which we will do because, you know, winter's in two days, I'm not going to get anything planted now. But as soon as that rolls around, we'll be ready to get these nicely underway. Sounds like a plan to me. So, one day left for winter. I think the fact... Oh, here you go. Winter is here. I think the fact that this one is currently being worked on prevents me from using my magical skip button, doesn't it? Oh no. Oh yes, yes, you can't skip winter during active field works. Okay. Well, let's let them all finish what they are doing nice and quickly, if you would be so kind. I think it's just this field. I don't think you're working on any of the others, are you? Oh, I don't know. Actually, you're spraying up there. Does grass grow in winter? Probably a stupid question. I'm sure I've seen grass in winter, so it must grow in winter. But uh, it's probably not at its happiest in winter, shall we say. Now, finish your baling quick as you like, chaps. Quick as you like. Come on, come on. I mean, surely it's all covered in snow. It's quite magical how this has managed to stay so yellow, really, when everything else has gone to snow. Impressive. Maybe they've put a cover out. Who knows, eh? Who knows? But it looks like, yes, work has stopped on all these other fields, so I think it's just this one. So once they get that tractor put away, I'm sure we will be ready to roll around into the spring. Oh, no. I lie, I lie. We've got to go pick up the bales first, obviously. Okay. Quick as you like. Picking up the bales. Go on, Reggie. I believe in you. You're doing a great job. In my eyes, that tractor looks full, so the fact you're managing to fit more and more and more in some sort of magnificent balancing act you've got going on. I'd be driving down the street and they'd be flying everywhere. Ah, so there we go. Half the field done, half the field to go. Ploughing along, ploughing along. Come on, Reggie. I believe in you. I believe in you. Three more to go. Three more to go! There we go. And that looks like that field is now complete. Marvellous. So, Reggie, you can come and drop those off at the barn. And there we go. Now, I believe... Ah, oh, yes, we can skip winter. And it looks like we're going to make a profit, I think. Currently, we have 2 million and 100,000. So, let's see. Spring is here. Yes, we now have 2,600,000, so we made a profit over winter. Quite amazing, really. I'm rather pleased with that. Now, first things first, let's get these lovely organic crops in. Flax is such a beautiful thing while it's growing, all nice and blue. So if you want to crack on with that, chaps, that would be wonderful. And it would help me with my objectives, so always handy. There we go. Leo chugging up and down this field putting his little seeds in. Look at that. I mean, there's not much to see at this point. It just looks like a field with a tractor on it, but I'm sure it will spring into colour for life soon as anything. Come on, Leo. Come on. Last few bits. Oh, look at that. 104 days till it grows, though. Blimey. Right. Let's try and get this hemp in, then. Because if this is going to take ages as well, I don't know if I can be a... Uh, dealing with that. We'll be here till next winter. Okay, so you are requiring a tractor and a cultivator. Where are my tractors and cultivators? I suspect, yes, there's one right there being worked on that. This is fertilising, so that's okay. That requires spraying. I mean, I can see I've got plenty of spare tractors knocking around, but I don't think I've got any spare cultivators, so that might be the shortage there. What have we got going on? What have we got? You... Oh, not that one. That one. You want to be sprayed, I imagine. Um, yes, as you're asking for a tractor, someone has gathered one of those. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. But this one's getting cultivated, so that is good. Thank you, Albie. Contributing well to the team. Okay. Um, Still seem to have a shortage of tractors. I feel like the shortage will improve as soon as we make it a little further into the season. It's only the start of the season when everything wants attention all at once that you actually have to worry about the number of tractors. Later in the season, you know, it's a bit more 
everything can sort of chill, can wait, they all take different amounts of time to grow, so it's a little bit more staggered, um, which makes things a lot easier. Now, you have been cultivated, what is up next for you? I imagine fertilization. Anyone going to come down and uh, get cracking on that? Would be very kind if you did. There you go. You say something and it occurs. It's almost like magic that. Thank you, Alex, for bringing some manure down. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. Nicely organic, that manure. I grew it myself from, you know, my chickens and ostriches and quails. All those normal animals that you uh, use for fertiliser. In fact, I don't think I've even got any chickens, so probably just ostrich, quail and goat. Yeah, just uh, try not to think about that too much, eh? Nearly done with the fertilisation. Lovely. And this one's getting cultivated over here. The fields don't seem too grumpy up here. We've got some spraying happening, some planting happening. What's going on with these? Growing but need spraying. Yeah, they're, at least they're all growing. We can, we can get on with the spraying, slowly but surely, stagger it a little. Now, have you just been completed? It looks like you have, so seeding is underway. Come on, Leo, come on down, work some magic. Also, this field, this flax, it looks decidedly green. I'm sure flax flowers are blue as the picture. Cool, I don't know, I don't know indeed. Now, in we go with the hemp down here. Any seeds going in, any seeds? Look at that tractor go. And the rain has started. Standard British spring, really. Almost done, almost done. Oh, there you go. In fact, it's organic watering, isn't it? That's what rain is. Who needs uh, irrigation when you can have the organic rain? Oh, lovely. Now, it has been known for a long time that flax oil and hemp oil are considered the healthier soils. Build an oil factory and produce 2,500 organic linseed oil and 3,000 organic hemp oil. Oh my! Well, that might take us a while, um, as these are going to take forever and a day to grow. That's the official unit of time for 102 days, forever and a day. Heads up on that one. Now, uh, do we even have space to fit in a factory anywhere? Interesting question. Oil factory. Let's hope it's not too large. Costs half a million though. It's quite an expensive one. Um, well, I've got about three gaps left on my farm, so that's all you can have. So, pretty damn convenient that it fits there, really, because uh, there is literally nowhere else it could go, short of me destroying stuff. So, the only problem is that it wants its entrance at this end. Oh, that's not good at all, is it? Because, yes, it no longer fits. Um, unless we do that and then just bring it its own road, but that seems a little bit bonkers. Is there anywhere else that we could fit it? anywhere. I think it's too wide to go there. This bit's, yep, yeah, not gonna fit there. Over here perhaps? Um, too wide for there. What about there? Nope. Here? Yeah, nope. Yeah, literally, we are out of space. Out of space! We have used all of the available space. Um, oh my, well. Either we make a naff road here, or we have to destroy something. Uh, what I may do then, I suppose I could put it straight onto the main road. It's probably not great for traffic management, but eh, there we go. Straight onto the main road it is, and then we just have a slightly awkward gap here. I'm not really sure we can do anything with, but we could put some plants in. Everybody likes a plant, right? Oh, a well. How about a well? Let's have a well there. There we go. I'm not sure if it's going to offer much purpose, but I'm sure it will look pretty. And then behind the well, we can have a little flowery garden. Look at that. Oh, they're going to be like little, uh, sort of chevrons. Chevrons of flowers. And then everyone that walks past is going to be very, very happy. It's going to be magnificent and just what everyone needs in their farm manager experience. Oh, in fact, I'm actually quite pleased with this. It looks quite good. Spin a little bit. At least the ostriches are going to like it. Oh, and then we need yellow next. Ta-da! It'll be a nice boundary between the ostriches and the ugly factory, which is now going in next to them. 
Yeah, there we go. So, what do we need to do now? I think we just need to wait for the flax to grow and the hemp to grow so that we can get some folk here into this factory and get it um, manufacturing. I suppose we should allow them some access to electricity. Cool, I don't know. Greedy. Wanting everything, aren't you? Can I stick it on any of these corners? Oh, don't make me put it in here. That would be most upsetting. What a horrible place to put an electric pole. Um, oh, it's going to be really fussy, isn't it? Should I put the electric in first? I know, I know. Um, is there anywhere I can stick it that isn't quite so obnoxious? How about there? And then connect it up to you. Strong electric noise there. Do you now have some electric? Yes, yes you do. Now, what have you decided to set yourself to? Ah, coals or oil you have set yourself to. Well, I don't want to be starting with that. Let's start with the flax oil of the organic persuasion. As I think that's the one that's going to be finished first. And then as soon as it is finished, we can just get cracking. Perfect. We probably also should put some people to work in this here factory. Um, did I fill all these slots? Six out of eight, seven out of eight. Well, I can have three folk down here then. See if I can hire myself somebody uh, of the manufacturing type. Alby. I swear we've already got an Alby, and I'm sure it's not a very common name. However, in you come, Alby. There you go. We've got at least one chap in the factory now. So now, once again, we sit back, we relax, we pull up a chair, we grab a drink, we wait for uh, the lovely products to grow. And in the meantime, we stock up on animal feed and have a cup of tea. I'm going to take this point here to insert a bit of a break as this episode was getting bonkers long. So, thank you for joining me on this adventure. We'll be back in a part very, very soon to continue and complete chapter four of the campaign. If you want to leave a like on this video or subscribe to the channel to stay up to date and get an alert when that next part comes, that would be awesome. Until next time, folks, goodbye!